a quick introduction to IPOF tool. Friends, IPOF is a tool for performing network throughput measurements. It can test either TCP or UDP throughput. To perform an IPOF test, the user must establish both a server and a client. In which scenarios we have to test uh, network throughput testing? Let's suppose you are on Amazon and a couple of your servers are in one availability zone and some servers are in a different availability zone and you want to test what is the max network throughput you can get uh, between availability zones in that case uh, you can use ipof tool to check your network uh, throughput again uh, that depends upon uh, what type of instance you are using whether that got uh, high network speed moderate network speed or low network speed that's a factor but again uh, depending upon your instance type you can get what some max throughput you will get what are the benefits of using ipof this tool is cross platform compatible it can work on linux unix and windows let's say you are going to test connectivity on site A, you go to a server which is running Windows. On site B, you go to a server which is running Linux or Unix or Windows. That not matters. You can use same tool to do network throughput test. Another thing, IPOF tool is open source. It can test TCP as well as UDP performance. Generally, UDP performance is uh, high if compared with TCP because TCP use a three-way handshake whereas UDP is stateless protocol. It does not maintain its state so data transfer is generally fast than TCP but again that's not reliable. Testing can be performed using different TCP window sizes. What is window size? Window size uh, how your data is divided into small size chunks. Window size is size of uh, that data chunk. And uh, you can use number of parallel threads to get uh, more network bandwidth or if you want to fully utilize the network pipe. And again, it can test UDP connectivity. To install it, simply run it uh, rpm-ivh. Again, this is the path. So what I'm doing, I'm installing rpm from uh, Fedora, which is EPL release, then yum install IPOF3. I'm using IPOF3. So there is IPOF2 is also there, but that is older version. I'm sticking with the latest one. In lab today, we got two servers. One is IPOF server, one is IPOF client, both RT2 micros and in uh, availability zone US West 2A. One server is going to act as IPOF server. Second server is going to act as IPOF client. And this utility is very simple. On one server, you have to start it in server mode and a simple way IPOF-S or basically IPOF-3 because I'm using IPOF-3. On client side, IPOF-3-C and uh, your server name to which you want to connect to get the network capabilities or throughput. And you can specify options. There are different options. To test TCP network bandwidth, IPOF 3 minus S and options on client. This is the command to run UDP network bandwidth test. Only thing you have to use minus U, which specify it is running to test UDP connectivity test options. I've listed a couple of options. Minus I stands for interval. Minus W stands for window. So window basically TCP size window. Minus T is for time. Minus C is for client mode. Minus capital P means uh, how many threads you want to run. By default, it will run only one thread, but if you want to run multiple threads to get your network pipe uh, fully burst or fully checked, you can uh, run multiple threads in parallel. Minus S server, minus P port. By default, uh, IPOF use port 5201. Let's suppose you don't have connectivity open on that port. then. You can specify your custom port. Let's say you got uh, port uh, 80 open and uh, no service is using port 80 now. So you can run IPOF tool on port 80 by specifying minus P 80. 
minus u stands for UDP connectivity test minus p is for bandwidth you can specify bandwidth in uh, megabit okay let's begin our technical session quickly these are my two servers one is ipof server and second is ipof client so this server is going to act as ipof server and this is client so first thing as i mentioned uh, we have to install package so here i am running rpm minus ivh and specifying the web path to epl release package okay it is already installed that's good let's check on second server i'm just copying the command that's easy for me okay just getting installed okay it's installed now let's install the uh, hype of three package yum install hype of three dash five sorry typo should be good this time okay it's installed let's install on second server basically which is going to access client okay it's installed now let's our let's run our first tcp test so here i'm going to use command ipov3 which is delivered by ipov3 package minus i is for interval as i mentioned before i'm saying 10 second interval minus s the server is going to run ipov in server mode minus s means server mode pressing enter if you see by default it is listening on port 5201 in case this port is not open we can choose custom port but right now i'm sticking with standard because i got this port open on my amazon machines on client side type of three same command options would be minus i interval i'm saying same interval minus w is for window size i'm saying use 4 mb window size minus t is for time i'm saying 66 so what it mean uh, interval is 10 second and for 60 second this test will be run it mean it is going to run it in six portions then minus c this is going to be in client mode and what is my target to which this machine need to connect this particular machine pressing enter here if you see uh, by default as i mentioned it will run only one thread so this is a single thread which is connected if you see it is connected to this particular ip which is of this machine and this is the throughput which i am getting with single thread which is 893 megabit which comes to around 100 and uh, 110 megabytes per second that's a throughput i'm getting as uh, i'm demonstrating using tcp hype of test it will run for 60 seconds if you see after every 10 second it is giving data 0 10 10 20 20 30 30 40 so it will run up to 60 because here i said time is 60 that's in seconds that output is varying if you see earlier we were getting 893 now 778 that depends upon uh, network throughput or network connectivity how many servers are utilizing that connectivity okay at the end we got around 823 okay so its server is still listening that's good so let's read in our command i am going to use uh, more threads let's say i'm saying minus capital p i want to use two threads instead of one let's see uh, can we use uh, more tcp size or it will give more throughput let's see okay if you see it is divided uh, the throughput is divided into two parts 369 369 total is 737 so it is something around 800 which we are getting it is getting reduced so what it mean uh, we cannot go beyond around 700 megabits per second which is around uh, 100 megabytes per second so let's wait this command to finish okay so i got uh, 617 megabits per second if i run this command uh, with single thread and let me change my window size because higher the window size higher uh, will be throughput that's my understanding 
with some with eight MB. Just going in opposite. If you see with eight MB window size, the throughput is very less. I'm getting sixty three megabits, which is around eight or nine MB. That's too much uh, low network bandwidth I'm getting with this window size. And generally, no one use eight MB window size. So let me reduce the size for demonstration purpose to see with uh, because earlier we didn't test with 4 MB, now 8 MB. Let's run with 2 MB window size. And let's see what happens. With 2 MB, <laughs> performance is uh, 75 megabits per second, which is too much bad. Let me reduce this time to 20 seconds and uh, run it again with 4 MB. Let's see what's the performance we are getting. Because earlier we got around 800 something, 800 something megabits. Let's see this time. Performance is slow. If you notice uh, earlier, we were getting 800 something now only 172 megabit per second. That's at Amazon end. So that's something uh, speed which we are getting. That's very bad speed. I can tell but again, uh, that's something at Amazon end. We are not uh, using our own uh, direct connect that uh, we are using Amazon's VPC. Okay, so this is the speed we are getting. If you see earlier, we go up to here 761 megabits per second. That was a good speed, but now same command speed is reduced. Both servers are on Amazon. So that is something which we can't control because uh, uh, network is delivered by Amazon. And on this instance, uh, let me quickly show you the speed which Amazon tells customer. This is T2 micro and uh, network performance is low to moderate what it mean we will amazon never guarantees we are going to get good performance on this instance let's suppose uh, we are using t2 2x large which got moderate network speed it mean uh, we can get something good speed if we go to higher instance types let's say this m2 sorry m4 2x large it got high network speed if we go with m4 10x large it got 10 gigabit speed and 16x large 20 gigabit network speed so where amazon gives some assurance okay you will get this kind of speed but with t2 micro amazon uh, not uh, gives uh, like some answer what is the speed we are going to get they are saying low to moderate so something we can get again uh, because on amazon when this virtual server run it runs on a physical platform and let's suppose that on that physical platform there are multiple EC2 instances are hosted. In that case, it is going to share the network bandwidth. So that's something I'm thinking because uh, it just happened because speed is uh, dropped uh, drastically. So let me read in this command to confirm we are getting same speed or not. Okay, if you notice same command here now I'm getting 463 megabits per second. The reason I'm not using a reserved physical server or this is not a, uh, on a dedicated host. So that's something which I'm getting from Amazon. Uh, so I have to bear with it. But uh, this is the way you can test your TCP connectivity. And let me quickly show you how you can test your UDP connectivity. So on server side, uh, you have to run uh, command uh, I of 3 minus I 10 let me get rid of interval because for UDP I don't want to uh, get uh, interval thing so I'm running server on client side I have to run I of 3 and here I'm saying in client mode this is my target machine and after that I'm saying minus B which is uh, bandwidth we can specify in kb or mb i'm saying the user let's say 200 mb bandwidth let's see what happens okay if you see we are getting around uh, 200 megabits per second with udb connectivity so let me increase uh, bandwidth from uh, 200 mb to 1 gb i'm saying this is my bandwidth for testing Let's see what performance we are getting. Now we are getting, if you see, that's a change. 
we are getting around 412 megabits per second and uh, on an average we got uh, 393 megabits per second i'm changing bandwidth to 2 gb now for testing with 2 gb it's around same around 300 but if you see it got reduced that's something because we are using shared uh, physical server so that uh, is something going to happen and this is very low compute instance it does not have a uh, good network capabilities let me try with 4g so this is something we can get using the uh, udp and uh, that's a max speed we can get again the speed is changing but this is the tool you can use to test network connectivity and network throughput so this is something at lower level I can think of because when earlier we tested with TCP we were getting around 700 something megabits per second which was a good speed but now speed is reduced. And let me quickly show you how you can uh, use your custom port. Uh, let's say I want to use port 80 for connectivity. I can say minus PK80. If you see server is listening on port 80 now and from your client end same command you can tell okay this is port on target machine to connect and it is connected on port 80 now and if you see now speed is uh, something good earlier it was only 62 megabits per second but now it go up to 306 so in that way you can use ipof tool to test connectivity but to get uh, better performance uh, for your network component on amazon uh, go with instance type with good, uh, good network component so thanks for watching this video friends if you have any query or any suggestion you can uh, leave a comment on my youtube channel i will try to respond as soon as possible thanks for watching this video again thank you Bye bye